Hey friends, today we're finally gonna do my vanity tour and organization. Uh, I've been waiting to do this for quite a while. I'm super excited to share how I've been organizing and decorating my vanity with everyone. So I actually got this candle uh, via Octoly complimentary from Illume. It's one of their wood fire luxe sanded mercury glass candles. And the scent is this really, really nice like cedar wood and smoke. And it's like got a warm vanilla kind of fragrance. It's one of those really lovely fall ones that I love. So thank you Octoly. Thank you Illume for sending me this. I will definitely be using the actual candle holder as a um, container afterwards. So now we're actually getting into the organization of the makeup and this top drawer, I actually keep all of my ColourPop Super Shock stuff. I have some Super Shock shadows, some Super Shock highlighters. This one is Hippo, I believe. It's like a really light lavender. Um, I don't remember which color this one is. It's more natural. I think it's Lunch Money. I think that's the shade. Um, but and then I have the Rain super shock blush it's a purple blush i don't think i ever really wear this i could probably declutter it but you know and then i have a handful of these super shock shadows these i got from actually a kathleen lights collab like years ago like a two years ago at least these i love i love them i love the ColourPop super shock shadows the shimmery ones this one particularly i love it so much i think this one's weenie this might be weenie but it's like a really pretty rose gold shade and then this other one i can't remember what the name of it is if they still have it on sale i will uh put it in the description it's nice i like it and then in this drawer, I also keep my Glossier Wouter because it doesn't fit anywhere else. So I put it here, you know. And I will mention that everything that I will be showing you at my vanity is stuff that I don't have in my makeup bag. So like this isn't my entire makeup collection. Um, next drawer is for blushes. Actually, no, this is highlighters for the most part. Um, I have an old MAC highlight. This one is so old. The um label came off and it's it's very old it's i think it's called adored maybe i don't know i have a bitter lace beauty powder from a couple years back it was one of their like halloween ones it was hocus pocus it's green and purple i don't know how i thought that would work as a highlighter on me but it's a pretty eyeshadow it's pretty eyeshadow it's the only thing from bitter lace beauty that i have I have an old Wet n Wild highlighter. This one is the pink shade. It's a good highlight, but yeah, Botanic Dream. There's so many pink highlighters that I have that are better than it. <laughs> now I have the Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighter or Moon Lobster, as people like to call it, in the shade Squid. It's a light, well, it's white, of course it's light. And it's, it's a really nice highlight. It's very shiny. Um, and then I have my Fenty Diamond Bomb that I got last year. I'm not gonna get the pink one, I swear. I'm not. Ooh, there's you, I can see you. Ha. Ah. And then I have one of my favorite highlighters. This is one of the original Fenty Kilowatt duos. This is in, oh God, what's even the shade? Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. I hit pan on that highlight so fucking fast. Then I have a Peri Para Velvet Cream blush, a little small version of a Laura Geller highlight, I think I got in a package once. And then an old NARS multiple. This is in Copacabana. It's like a stick highlighter. I should probably just declutter it, honestly. And then the one full size Stila, uh, Stila glitter shadow I have. This is in the shade Wanderlust. I love it so much. Oh, it's beautiful. I just have to put all this shit back. Fuck. 
I need a slightly better organization, but you know, this works for now. And then the third drawer, this one is more explicitly blushes. Again, has some old Mac blushes. This is blush baby. It's legit like six years old. It's a nude pink blush. Um, I have a couple of Nabla blushes. I haven't brought these out in a while, but I feel like I should. This is in the shade Nectarine. And then I have another shade that's like a contour one. A Soap and Glory blush highlight. Oh. Love it first blush. I love it. This is the oldest blush I own. This is Nars Du Sir. I thought I didn't have it, but I do. Literally, this packaging is sticky. It's gross as I'm holding it, but the blush doesn't smell weird. It still works. I don't buy from Nars anymore, but you know, an old sleek blush and then a Milani one that's Luminoso and then another old Mac one. This is Azalea Blossom. This side actually might be older than the other one, other one I mentioned. It's super old. Get in there. God dang it. Then I have a Milk Highlight. This is in the shade Mars that the packaging just totally scraped off so easily. And another NARS blush. This I got like three, four years ago. It's uh, shade Teos. It's a decent one, but again, Pretty much all of Nars blushes are dupable at this point. But I don't throw things away. And then the last drawer. This is the random hodgepodge of creams, glitters, sticks, pigments, and then the one bronzer I have. I actually really like that stick contour from Anastasia. I have an old OCC glitter from years ago. A couple of old MAC pigments when I bought pigments. Uh, some of the small Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. And then two of the Glossier Cloud Paints. I love them. They're so good. This is honestly just like the random hodgepodge of a drawer. I'm just like glitter and glitter and things. The junk drawer of my vanity. All it needs is a chapstick and a glue stick and I'm set. Oh, an inkblot pigment. <laughs> Forgot I had that. Put everything back where it came from. Put that thing back where it came from. And because I couldn't fit all my highlights and blushes into those drawers, I just have the prettiest ones sitting out. <laughs> this I think is like Prismatic Amethyst from Becca. I got this from Octoly many, many months ago. And then the Sangria Sunset Mimosa thing from Fenty and then my Fenty bronzer. Yeah, they're pretty. They could sit out, it's fine. Now on to the many candle holders I have repurposed. Uh, these are all my lip and eye pencils. I don't own a ton. Honestly, I could get rid of some of these and I would be fine. But they're all the pencils, everything as far as pencils go. I keep in here. Um, I got some old Mac ones, some Makeup Forever ones, an Urban Decay pencil, NYX, uh, a lot of NYX, mostly NYX, honestly, and then my other mascara. This candle holder is great. I love it. I repurpose candle holders all the time. This is another candle holder I repurposed. This one was a scent called Lumberjack, everything after my own heart. And these are my eye brushes for the most part. I have a couple of like more face brush type things. These are two brand new brushes from ColourPop. So they're the only ones that are probably the most clean. I need to clean probably all the rest of these to be fair. Um, it's the one Morphe brush I have. I need to get rid of it because it's so scratchy. But you know, my Real Techniques brushes, a couple of IT brushes, some Sigma, some Sonia Kashuk. I have a nice combo of brushes. Probably my favorite brushes I've tried have honestly been the Real Techniques and Spectrum and IT. IT Cosmetics has had, had decent brushes too. And now for the bigger face brushes. This is an old Bath & Body Works candle that I cleaned out completely. And these are probably all somewhat dirty. I need to wash them. 
I really do. It brush, mostly drill techniques in here. A couple of Sonia Kashuk ones. And I think I have a, a Wet n Wild brush too. That's the one MAC brush I have. MAC. I don't even remember which brush it was. But it sheds like crazy. Just so, just, just, just so you know, friends, nice brushes don't always necessarily mean that they're going to be better than cheaper ones. Real techniques. And more real techniques. I think I have an elf and a Sigma brush in there as well. There's an elf brush. Hell yeah. Elf brushes are dope. I need more of those. Abby, I get it. You have lots of real techniques. And this little candle holder holds a uh, smaller spray or rollerball perfumes that are not stand up bottles. Um, I have a handful of lush ones. Uh, I have Imogen Rose, uh, Vanillary, and then I, I don't remember, honestly. These have been given to me or they've been like smaller sizes and things, mostly gifts. I tend to not buy this size for myself, but another candle holder. I think I got that candle from like Target too. And this one's not a candle holder, it's a spittoon. And this is all my lip glosses, I think, yeah. And then a random pencil that's in here. Um, an old MAC lip gloss that I bought, Sexy Mother Pucker from Soap and Glory, NYX, Bite, I don't have that many lip glosses. And now onto my perfumes. I have a lot of Lush perfumes, Yuzu and Coco, mm, so nice. Lord of Misrule, my love and pride and joy. Rose Jam, it's getting low. This Lord of Misrule is like almost empty. I'm so glad I bought a backup. Holy shit. And Rentless. I have love in there as well. But yeah, Smuggler Soul, Smell of Weather Turning, Curbside Violet. That's a Joe Malone one I got. A Lord of Misrule Perfume Oil. And then a couple other ones down at the bottom that are more locally based ones. This I actually got from a lady who sells crystals and gems and stuff. Um, and then this is a Bone China Designs original. I will leave a link to Faith's page. Sup, Faith? Now my collection is even bigger. Um, it's this really cute little mug. I love it. And this candle I actually got from a local seller as well. This little uh, bowl, I basically have like solid perfumes and some lip balms. I have a, the one eyebrow gel that I literally never use anymore, but it's mostly solid perfumes from Lush because a bowl made sense for those. This is also a candle that I repurposed the holder of. Seriously, save your candle jars. And bowls. Yeah. These I got from Michaels. Now we're into my drawer. This is my lipstick and other random thing drawer. That was a deodorant and a brow gel. And then that is my collection. This is my collection of lip scrubs, you guys. And that's not even all of them. I think there's two that aren't in there. I have too many. I have too many. And this is how I store my lipsticks. Um, some of them don't fit perfectly. You know, some of them fit a little wonky, but it happens. Um, I got some uh, old Wet n Wild, some Fenty, some Bite, Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, um, some ColourPop, 
like two of the lippy sticks. My favorite lipstick of all time, Glossé from Bite Beauty, holy shit. I still have a lot of MAC ones that I need to save to bring back the back to MAC thing. Cause that I'll still do, cause it's just getting free things. Two Besame lipsticks that I got several years back. Those are, those are nice. And then the one Chanel lipstick I own that I'm never gonna get rid of because it makes me feel fancy. I think it's a Milani topper. These are two from the Portland Black Lipstick Company. I love these. Uh, these are from uh, Makeup Monsters, which is Menagerie Cosmetics' old name. It's Menagerie. It's from Menagerie Cosmetics, um, but the label is an old label. I should actually wear those this um, this fall. Ooh, I have two of these lipstick liquid lipsticks from Black Moon Cosmetics. They're a little more drying, but the shades are really nice, and the packaging is really, really gorgeous. <sighs> Fucking wet and wild. I still love that black lipstick. <laughs> Some of the random lipstick. I haven't bought that many lipsticks, honestly, lately. Oh, I got a ColourPop one in here too. One of the Lux lipsticks. I talked about that in my nude lipsticks video. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Yeah, so that's my lipstick collection. For the most part. I mean, there's a handful in my makeup bag and my purse, but that's most of my lipsticks. As well as an empty jar of wheat. And now my palette collection. This is probably the most work I put into any of the drawers or organizational stuff. Um, I cut up some Sephora packages, some, some boxes, and put some contact paper on them and made little like shelving things. These are palettes that I bought many years ago and I still use because I don't want to throw them away. Friggin' Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D. God damn it. Mac and Ofra. Got my Lemonade palette from Midas and I got a Juvia's Place palette. A couple palettes are in my desk in the other room, so this isn't my entire palette collection, but it's a good amount of them. Got an old Sleek palette, Sugar Pill, my Feral palette from Menagerie is right behind it, and then the uh, Midas Flower Bomb palette. I love it. And then these are most of my Anastasia palettes. It's missing the Norvina, and I think that might be the only one I'm missing. I think so. And then I have my Smoke Sessions and my Gemini palette from Melt Cosmetics. Ugh, so good. It's a little wonky size though. It's kind of long. I was honestly super proud that I was able to make this work. Not all the palettes that I own fit into it, like you will see coming up, because these two palettes are too big. <laughs> these are too fucking large. This is the next drawer down, by the way. This is the one build my own palette that I own. It's just a compilation, a hodgepodge of random shit that I've gotten from ColourPop, from Tarte. It's a Tarte palette that I bought a couple years back and it lives down there. Now I have the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. I love this palette so much, but it's so big and bulky that like, if I was good at depotting, I would depot it, but I'm not. I have a few massage bars from Lush and the Twinkle Toes. My Caboodles case that I take with me and some other random perfumes and just a mixture of stuff. Oh, and my lens hoods. The last drawer, again, is kind of more just for storage. I have some notebooks down there. I have my old keyboard, my old glasses, actually, and some extra mail that I haven't filed yet. So there's that. But this drawer used to be full to the brim of stuff, and I'm super proud that I was able to get things like narrowed down and cleaned out. Everything looks so nice and clean. Got my old Warby Parkers. Warby Parker glasses cases are awesome, by the way. My ticket stub diary. 
Yeah. So that is my full vanity tour. I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, again, thanks to Octoly and to Illum for sending me that candle. Uh, I, I'm really happy with how everything is, how everything's laid out right now. It just feels good. My little decorations, it's spooky season. And everything just works. I wanted to paint the vanity, but I haven't had a chance to. This vanity is also vintage. It's, I don't even know how old. We got it many, many years ago. It's been through many moves with me. And I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon, so. Please hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!